Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose, this is Delilah Spiritual Spot. Coming with your 2020 forecast, 2021 forecast, excuse me, 2021 forecast. So I'm gonna pull for my psychic tarot for uh, overarching messages and, uh, and or things to look out for. The waiting game. So 2021, the waiting game and emotional loss. So Cancer, this is not necessarily, I'm going to move my crackers out the way. This is not necessarily a bad reading because we all suffer emotional losses throughout the year, right? This is just making you aware of things that can occur for you in 2021. You know, a lot of you guys are going to be waiting for something to happen, waiting for some information. We'll find out more when we shuffle the cards here. I mean, when I put all the cards here. I'll be pulling one card for each month. Also, as I'm shuffling, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the notification button because I go live every Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have the Emperor in January. We have the Nine of Swords. Here we are, beginning with this uh, anxiety and loss feeling in February. In March, we have the Chariot. In April, we have the Five of Pentacles. In May, you have the Six of Stays or the Six of Wands. You have the Six of Swords. In June, July, you have the Four of Swords. Very interesting reading so far. Very interesting. We have the Hangman here. In August, you have the Knight of Swords. In September, you have the Ten of Swords. Uh, in October, you have the Tower in November. Finally, we end with the Hermit card in December. Sorry, I had a phone call. So in December, we have the Hermit card, which is lovely right after this Tower moment. Tower moments are never bad. This is not scary stuff. And then we have the King of Pentacles here, which means you can survive it all. You're going to survive it all because ultimately you'll sit in, you're sitting on your throne. So let's just get into this. So some of you are waiting for your money, right? You're waiting for your Pentacles. You're waiting... You know, you're waiting to hear back from a new job. You're waiting, you know, for money that's owed to you. You're just waiting. There is some emotional loss that's going to occur. And it's going to be with, you know, letting relationships go, right? That's just the truth. You're just letting relationships go. Some relationships are going to cost you emotionally. Some relationships are going to cost you financially. But you'll be able to regain your senses um, by the end right? So let's just begin. You start off strong, right? You're looking forward to 2021. It's a brand new year. Uh, if you live in the U U.S., you know, we we're having an election uh, in a couple of days. Uh, I'm doing this in November. <laughs> you're having a, an election in a couple of days. And so you're just starting off strong, putting the right foot forward. Here we have in February, you have the Nine of Swords. Now, this is your pre-existing anxieties that are just rearing his head. You know, you, you because in January, you're doing your, um, what is that called? In January, you're, you're doing, you know, your goal set and what you, and what you want to do. Um, but in, in February, your, your anxieties are rearing their head. It's something you've dealt with before. It's something that you continuously deal with because you are emotional creatures. You're run by your emotions. Here in March, something is happening at the lightning speed. The advice from spirit here is to keep the balance, right? Something is coming forward, but if you keep the balance between your emotions, you will do fine. Remember the charioteer wins because he keeps the rhythm going. So be the master, be the emperor of your own rhythm. Here in April, money's tight for you, right? We have the Five of Pentacles. Money's tight and there's just fear around your financial situation. But things will improve and I'll tell you why because we move right here 
into um into May, which the six of staves or the six of wands is your victory. He is victorious. He has his laurel. He's won the race. Money's easing up here, right? For many of you, with the money situation easing up, you're thinking about moving, right? You're thinking about moving, starting uh, a fresh, starting a new, you know, and it's it's going to be better for you. Whatever this direction you're going towards, it's going to be better. It's going to be calmer waters, calmer sailing for you. Remember, after all this action, you need to take a rest with this Four of Swords. If you don't take a minute to yourself, you're going to suffer. You're going to end up right back here in the Nine of Swords. In August, it's telling you to look at the last six months and try to put things into perspective, a different perspective, because what was happening here no longer served you and it was for a reason. So just take a look back and try to figure what that is out. Here's September again, and I like that this is in line. So we have the Emperor, the Six of uh, Wands, and then we have the Knight of Swords here. You're ready to jump back on your horse and slay your demons and slay your dragons, right? And you're going to be successful at that. By the end of you releasing who no longer serves you, you're going to be feeling, because of the truths you found out, you're going to be feeling like you were stabbed in the back, right? Ten of Swords is completion. So understand, you know who stabbed you. You know what happened. There's no more secrets. It's a positive card, along with this Tower card in November. It had to end, right? You had to cut it off because it was a cancer. It was a cancer, so you can't live on a cracked foundation. So it has to go. It's a positive moment for you. It's a positive moment moving into December, right? December, just because you're in hermit season or taking a step back, it's you rejuvenating your spirit, your soul, like this Four of Swords. So you're just taking a step back, you're communing, communing with your own spirit and figuring things out, right? Ultimately, you're the king. You survived all of this. No one took anything away from you, even though they tried. You are still sitting pretty, Cancer. And this is your 2021 outlook. I'm Delilah Rose, and this is Delilah's Spiritual Spot.